Hey folks, it's Milena from The Designist, and today I'm glad to present you a new tutorial from our friend and a talented freelance illustrator, Milka. Basically, we were surfing around Creative Market and realized how popular these shadow mockups had become recently. Tender and bright at the time. I absolutely love the fresh look they create, and it's quite clear why these shadow mockups are getting more and more popular. Hopefully, it's not so difficult to create our own mockup. So, I've decided to give them a go and show you the process. Well, let's try it out. I suggest you to make something of the kind. I have a pre made scene with my stationary scene style. Two default sizes. First of all, we should create a shadow dropping from the paper sheets. So, open the layer style menu with a double click, blending options. And to the drop shadow style and set the parameters there. I've done it in advance, so you can just pause the video and copy them. Pay attention that the blend mode is multiply. Also, I haven't chosen the black color for the shadow. It's not super important, but you can obtain a more winning effect by picking a different shade. Add another drop shadow style, but with a bit different parameters, so that color burn blend mode and click OK. See the shadow? Now we should copy it and pass to the second layer. It's gonna save us some time. Open the menu with the right click and select copy layer style. Select the second file with the paper we should apply the layer styles to and pick past layer styles. So we have both shadows at their places. Then I need a paper texture. I've got mine on Unsplash.com. It offers awesome photos for free, you should check it out. I've made a paper texture out of this fragment and got the background from this image. To get rid of the objects in the image and get a clean background, just select the area, press Shift and Backspace, choose Content Aware command and OK, magic time! Next, we should find some contrastive image of branches or leaves. It's a crucial point, as it must be easy to cut them out. My image is also from Unsplash, by the way. Well, let's cut it out. First, I don't need all the branches, so I'll cut off a part of the image. Then pick the Magic Wand tool and select the white background with a single click. You should also select similar areas. Right-click on the selection and pick similar pixels. Now the whole background is selected. But the truth is that we don't need it, we need the leaves instead. So let's invert the selection with Command-Shift-I or Ctrl-Shift-I on Windows. Create a new layer and fill it with any color except black. I will pick brown for the red background. Paint the motif, press A or choose the Move tool to take our future shadow to the initial image. It hasn't been cut out perfectly, but actually we don't need it to be better, as we're gonna blur it all. Choose where you will place the shadow. I like this way. Further on, I duplicate this layer and name it Shadow 10. I will explain why in a second and Shadow 20. Use Gaussian Blur for the first level, 10 pixels radius, and 20 pixels for the second layer. Let's select the first layer. To do so, I press Comet or Ctrl and click the layer icon, and it's selected. We should now smooth the selection. Follow, Select, Modify, Smooth. 10 pixels here. When it's done, invert the selection. You already know how to do it. Command Shift I or Ctrl Shift I. And clear the selection by pressing Backspace. That's exactly what I wanted. Deselect the image and switch multiply mode for this layer. Leave 60% fill. Or you can play with the parameters here to see what you like best. As for the shadow 20, <coughs> 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 
As for the Shadow 20, use Color Burn mod and 60% fill for it. Next, well, we should apply paper texture, hope you haven't forgotten. Click Pattern, here's my paper already. You can create your own seamless pattern or find something similar on Unsplash. It may not even be seamless, actually, just try how it works. Select all three layers you've created with Shift, Command or Ctrl pressed. Right button click and pick Merge layers. Make another duplicate of this layer. And choose again multiple mode and 60% fill for the first layer and color burn mode. And again 60% fill for the second one. And ta-da! We've done it! If you have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment down below. Hope this tutorial can come in handy. Don't hesitate to like our video and share it with friends. Thanks for watching!